All right, welcome back to the blog on Cool TV, and it is time for five unconventional things that men find attractive. It's time for five unconventional things that, that men, men find, find unattractive. You just said men find unattractive. Men find attractive. Attractive, attractive. Wow. That was this good. Okay, <laughs> so they say beauty is in the eye of the beholder or the beer holder, you know, whatever works <laughs> for you. What? And physical <laughs> attraction is quite <laughs> relative. Now, long hair, almond eyes, cute dimple oh, gosh. are usually features that many men find attractive in women, mm. while a naughty wink a sexy smile, and a girl that can dance are things that men often love. However, following a number of interviews and surveys, we reveal some of the unconventional things that men say they find really attractive. Mm. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Why, how are almond eyes a thing that men like? I don't, I don't understand. They because, like you. Like so they know. They they know the, let the, the, owner, let the owner defend No, let me, let me tell you what <laughs> almond eyes are. I mean, look at my eyes for heaven's sake. I've had guys say, your, your eyes just brighten up. Like mm -hmm. when, you, when you smile, it's just bright. God wow. save me from know, It just keeps you young. Like, see the way it's just... No, just uh, there. Why it's not, you it's, it's not like Can you open your eyes, though? Like, like, why are you squinting? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Because the almonds are too heavy. Well, is it because they said you're Asian? I mean, you've been yeah. living in the, your Asian dream and your eyes. But allow me to enjoy my almond, please. Thank you very much. And the long hair and pointed nose. Too. Yeah, many people say that, don't they? <coughs> that you look Asian, like you have a hint of Asian in your blood. Are you saying that to me or you've heard people say I've it? heard people say it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm proud of my African roots. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Number one. <laughs> that was uh, Glasses. Now, some people consider glasses uh -oh. as looking um, nerdy or geeky, not the sexy kind. However, responses from the men interviewed. I don't know. Did the was, was, <laughs> what did you do? Now one but two. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yes, <laughs> research from the men interviewed points that a girl with her glasses on will most likely look attractive to men. <laughs> now that we know that men find us attractive, we don't need to get those contact lenses. No wonder so, you've been no refusing. <laughs> Get contact lenses. No, <laughs> it's, it's not. It's not here. It's bad for my it's eyes. In America. Yeah, it's America. It's, yeah. Get contact lenses. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay, how did you make it into that research? <laughs> I don't know. They must have researched me. <laughs> I thought you wish you didn't. You didn't even bother. I mean, I just, just like <laughs> rather, rather um, modest. As in. Uh, <laughs> now that's sexy. As in. Hola. <laughs> Okay. All right. <clears throat> Number two, watching her get dolled up. Really? Apparently. Have you ever applied makeup in the presence of your man? It is very possible that he was amazed by how skillfully mm. you do this. Uh, men know that there are many various techniques of applying makeup products and are often intrigued by this. So, ladies, feel free to put your face on in front of him. Mm -hmm. It's actually true. They are men that they really like, they, they are fascinated at the way you draw your brows and how you come out at the end of the day. It's a lie. The ones no, I know, I, like I know the ones I know are irritated by the amount of yeah. time it takes to do your makeup. No, I'm, I'm talking. Maybe you guys just uh, you guys have a lot of time in your hands and you're making up and they're really watching you take. I've seen a lot of men actually get fascinated. By are it. they gay? Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. I think they're more wow. fascinated how you can go from. Zero to a hundred. Mm. Are you the same I, I person? That, like, I think it's just... Are you sure it's fascination? Confusion. 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 Yeah. I prefer for them to see the end product, not to see the process. It's like saying, you know, you want to eat food and you're dead with your mom. With your mom ready. <laughs> you just want the food to I, But come. I think it's curiosity because there was a time I was putting on my makeup on at my friend's place. And the time when I said that, he was just looking at me like, what's this one doing? Yeah. Yeah, and I finished, was like, oh, I see. He said initially he was confused, though, that I was just drawing things, putting colors here yeah. and there, attaching eyelashes. He's like, ah, what is this? But that's someone that didn't know you. Try it with someone that knows you. <laughs> as in, the time you're, as in, mm. one hour there, mm. be tapping mm. their toe, feet. I'm like, ah, ah, are you not ready since? <laughs> what are you painting? Uh, 
That's why oh. you need to get you a patient man mm -hmm. who will sit and wait. Yes. That's what you think. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just runs out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number three, when you exercise. Really? Ew. I could, no. I, I could, no, I could see when you, if you're doing yoga, if you're doing like the downward Trust me, you don't look like, as attractive like as it like makes that. it look, mm. you know? Anyways, the research <laughs> says <laughs> most men like to watch a woman work out. That exhausted look and the sweaty feeling mm -hmm. work what? like a magnet. That's a big lie because when you're running, you look so ugly. Like when I'm working out, I don't even want any, any man. Even a woman, I don't even want. Uh -uh. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, men will still find it quite sexy. Uh, mm. Let your partner watch you exercise mm. or even better, work out together. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, it depends. I think if it depends wants... on the kind of exercise you do and how you look when you exercise. No, it's only if you're acting a movie. There's no kind it's of exercise. Only movie. When you're tired, yeah. like, oh baby, yeah. look at me, oh, I'm look burning the so calories. Oh, wow, I'm jogging. Ooh. Or the men when they're sweating and the sweating. Yeah. Is like, or, just, or you go to swimming and you come out of the swimming pool like, <laughs> Nobody ever comes to the swimming pool like that. That's everybody in real life comes to the swimming pool like that. Some people are vain like that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna try these things out and let us, mm. let, let you know what you think. You, you do yoga very well. That one is different. Mm. No, I understand yoga, but that's not the same thing as what we're talking about. No, I know what you're talking about, but I'm just saying. Mm. Anyways, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. camouflage. Really? Camouflage? Yes, they like Why it apparently. It makes you look tough. Yes. Like. Yeah, but, but it's banned in Nigeria though. Mm. You get in trouble if you wear camo. In it's actually not banned, but military people are just taking it. Uh, overboard. You're not supposed to wear it. Though. Try it. Well, why? It no, because because you have fashionable sense. camouflage. Because it's a uniform. Oh, you wear the different mm -hmm. colors. Because they're different colors, no? You are not even supposed to. This wear is not a uniform. If you if you dress like this, it's not a uniform. They will so catch you. find camo. Camo. Anyways, yeah. the research says start wearing camo. Now, this type of clothing <laughs> is found sexy by many men. They associate it with. Wild nature, hunting, and exotic animals. <laughs> Despite the fact that, um, that camo is a sexy wear, it can't beat skirts and dresses. Don't forget to be feminine. Wear your classic blouses, high heels, and all of that. I, I don't know how Nigerian men will see a woman. The only thing they'll remember is Biafra, 1963 or so. 19, when Biafra happened. No, that's it. Like, there's a term that people used to rock camos a lot in Nigeria. Yeah, I don't have a really nice people. camo skirt. Yeah, I rock yeah. that thing. What I'm saying is that... I did a photo with a pair of camos. I put them up recently. Oh, yeah, they're them. really nice. And someone said I, was, I looked like I was in an action film. Of course, it was Nigerian. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what they like. like. You know, the Lara Croft kind of woman. Yeah, that's what I said. You look tough in it, mm. so they like a woman in camos. Mm. Mm. I just like, I think I like, I just like my style. It's very, my style is just nice, though. Okay. I don't think it's any... And it's like classic, you can wear it with anything. Yeah! Yes, I mean, yeah really I'm, nice. I'm the materials, funny enough, the camo materials they use for fashion is different from the military camo. Mm. Actually, well, come to think of it, every time I wear my t-shirt, my camo t-shirt, I know I keep going back to myself, that's all the camo I have. <laughs> but there's this t-shirt I wear, and when I wear it, men go, ah, oh, nice, I like your top, I like... <clears> oh! So we can start rocking camels now? No, I arrest you uh, first. Mm. Mm. Actually, it's not even a law. It's not a thing in Nigeria. So but they, yeah. when I wear it, I'm always like scared. Just, like, oh my God. It's just military people being vagabonds as always. Because that, that, those pants I was talking about, my mom, there was a certain newspaper that put up the picture, and my mom so was like freaking out. No, you can't do that. Wow, no, no, no. I'm like, it's just a freaking fashion. Yeah, because I, mean, I, I think I heard one of these artists had a show and he was wearing camel and they And he got in him. trouble. Yeah. What, what, why is this? Because, because what they are wearing, no, <clears throat> even if it's a uniform, what they are wearing and their uniform are different things. Now, if you dress in full military attire mm -hmm. and you're not, then it's, it's against the law. Well, and that's what the law states. But that you're wearing a, a stylish camel. No. That you, you're allowed to do it. Yes. As you're mm -hmm. allowed to. Anyways, um, <clears throat> number five, wearing his shirt. That one is sexy. Yeah. The untidy mm -hmm. look can also be appealing to your man, especially if you are wearing his shirt. Try yeah. this trick and see how he reacts. Let's admit, it looks mm. chic and stylish. He actually does. But what if you're forming surprise in him and then you go carry his shirt that he had to wear to work on Monday? Uh, <laughs> not a your makeup. <laughs> but you say, why would you that guy in his shirt? I mean, look for one that he just squeezed somewhere and wear. No, who's going to wear uh, a nasty shirt? No, not Jesse. No, but, but if you're going to... I think yeah, the, the yeah, appeal with wearing your guy's shirt is, you know, you wear the one that he just took off so you can still smell his perfume on it. And I think oh, I hear men like it on you. You see, that's what they see in movies. The real men that go to work, <laughs> the thing is smelling I, because the armpits Now, here's another smelling. thing about real life again. That's how you and your boyfriend will be the same size. And you know women are bigger up here. And then you're not trying to wear the shirt. You'll be like, oh, forgive me, bigger oh, shirt now. What's wrong with exactly. you? Sorry, do you know, uh, uh, sorry, something that... It, uh, Men don't find attractive in women. I think men don't like it when their jeans, when their denims are the same size with their women. Oh. I have a friend that his girlfriend wore his pants and it was at, at her size. 
the guy kept lamenting the whole uh, thing. But that one is a different guy now. Oh, I know someone it's, as some well. Some people were, it's called boyfriend jeans. They're actually quite trendy. No, I know yeah. someone that, them like, up and I, rock I, I, them. But actually, maybe not the actual boyfriend's jeans. You can wear something that looks like that's Takamo like big, that is big, but not their own. Because yeah. it seems like, I, okay, I know someone who wore her husband's briefs and he was obsidian like it at all. Because, you know, yeah, like. Yeah, you should go to her. Be bigger now. Mm. Oh, the briefs are different, though. Yeah, but like, as wearing... that not underwear? And, uh, that is underwear. What if you're with a skinny bay and it, <clears throat> hey, and it just happens to fit, man? If you're running out of clothes, just wear the clothes. Just, then buy your clothes. size. Don't wear his, especially if you know it's going to turn him off. Yeah, I don't know. Me, I can't. Why would you want to wear his dream? Um, this is just to show that we're so in love and so. Why are we wearing our briefs? I don't understand. <laughs> 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 you want to wear mine tomorrow? Like what? I understand like shirts. Oh, you imagine know, him wearing your pink one. I'm gonna say I'm a man that wear women's underwear. Yeah. <laughs> Kay Caitlin, hi. That's how he started. So if your husband is wearing your briefs. It's not because he likes you so much. Yeah. In a few years' time, switch. he might just have a show called I Am Cat or Kate. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, um, these have been our tips. Uh, mm, these have been oh, our, not tips, it. but our five <laughs> unconventional things that men find attractive in women. If you have any more that you'd like to share as a guy or as a woman, send us an email, blog at cooltv.co, or hit us up on Twitter, Facebook at cooltv, the blog page and handle, and of course, hashtag love, love to, to love. love. Showed up on <laughs> like things just be popping up. I see. Pop, pop, pop. pop, pop, pop. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. More singing. No, so no, it's a Friday. It's a Friday. More Friday. Let's sing no, 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 no. It's a Friday. Ladies it's a Friday. and gentlemen, it's time for the real, real. Peace. That sounds like a Monday kind of okay. song. Hello, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey. 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 hey, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the real peace, yo. It's time for the real peace, yo. Rapping, giving, oh. real peace. Peace is oh, going. We keep it real. Well, you know the deal. Oh. Hey. 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 Real peace. 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 The real piece is not a serious real piece. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's go. For Proceed. the real piece today, when you do not marry your true love. Mm. Mm. So thought mm. out and planned. Very planned. Mm. Mm. Now, there are many people that we could call. We could talk about Prince Charles. We could talk about Mohammed. But is it Mohammed or Ibrahim? What's the name of Ib uh, Mohammed? I think it's Mohammed. Also. If his father was Ibrahim, it was Mohammed. Okay. <laughs> Mohammed. I think it's Mohammed. Anyway, so these people had people that they were seen, but had to marry. Who was Ibrahim seen? Sorry, Mohammed seen. He was his second wife. He was seen his second oh. wife before he married his first wife. Oh. Then after some time. And then to think that he brought Jojo for his wife. It was such a romantic wedding. And just a few Which years, Mohammed, maybe. Uh, Baba Ibrahim, Gira's Baba Gira's son. son. I be this. Oh, he did marry true love. Well, wow. yeah, second time. Yeah, he did. Oh. <laughs> then he eventually married his girlfriend. The girlfriend he was seen before How he do you married. Know this so who gave him it the was, first it was one? on the news. Okay. Well, the yeah. first one is from a prestigious home. So yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah, she's one in Dimi's daughter. Yeah. One oh, of the girls. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. 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 Prince Charles, who later on married, married um, his true love Camilla. after Diana. After they died, killed yeah, Diana. Diana. Remember, D uh, Diana even said um, in an interview years back that we are through in this marriage is getting crowded. She's always been there. So, um, you know, people are, 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 this is inspired, of course, by exclusives wedding. Not that he's attached to anybody, but they are, um, how would I put it? My gosh. <laughs> No, I would like to say. What? I, I, Wait, I, how is that? What is what? Yeah, now nah, look at what right you know that you, you, Is this something you we guys don't are know? You're making it look bad. I'm saying. No, many oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Land. Land. Okay, Let's so hear you. Many people didn't mm -hmm. expect that he was going to be married. Okay. Yeah, so well, soon. that's normal. Okay. So soon, yeah, because of course he's a he's an eligible he was an eligible bachelor, good looking, he had a good job. Yeah, so people didn't even when he was engaged, people thought it was just oh he's just engaged. And by people, he won't get my so yeah, and do you, young do you ladies. Do you I mean, think did you read the, the well, yeah, comments? Yeah, because even when I heard he was engaged, I was like, I, I now yeah. me CIA executive. I went through his Instagram. I'm like, but I don't see anybody his Instagram. What's mm -hmm. going on? So are you trying know, to say yeah. that he didn't marry his true love? No, no, a lot of people are assuming he did because of how hidden it was and no one knew when he was seen her. Okay. A lot of people are assuming he didn't marry his true love. Uh -uh. And his true love is still somewhere there. <laughs> Maybe on leave or something. So I don't even know. Um, so anyways, it's fine. <laughs> 
<laughs> obviously, it's not one of us because we're, we're at work. <laughs> <laughs> no, this yeah, is bad. This is, I don't <laughs> leave. <laughs> and I need to take leave. This wow. is so bad. Well, yes, well I, I would say, now, in a situation like this, we're not one to judge. I don't think anybody out there should judge. Okay, let's assume that there's a guy, uh, he's getting married to somebody, but he's in love with somebody else. Now, we're not talking about exclusive. No, we're just talking about some random guy. So I'm going to say a lot of people want to judge the guy oh, for leading uh. the lady on, or they would want to judge her for knowingly staying there, knowing that the guy was going to get married. But I would say you can't judge until you find yourself in that position. God forbid. At all. I because refuse. there are, uh. like... <clears throat> so I'm saying, can I, can I go on? Yeah, land, land. <laughs> okay, so you don't know how you can fall for somebody so hard that a part of you would think, oh, maybe, okay, yes, he got engaged. Maybe something is going to happen. Like, no, it happens but in Kel, never. Kel, God, why is he going to be engaged? Okay, Come on. Maybe he's going to break no, this up. No, Kel, you know what you're doing now? You're like, now you're trying to, no. it's just like your child does something bad and you're saying, oh, it's okay. You didn't know agree. it was going to happen. When you, you saw a fire that you put your hand you put in, your you hand knew in that there. it was wrong. You, you got you put yourself your hand burned. No. But you see, the thing about matters of the heart is that it's not always black and white. It's not always, you know, A equals to A or B. It's not always like that. We know that. No, it's like that. Like it was okay because he got engaged. He was going to get Keep married. Moving. Why were you there? Are we you talking generally or what? Yeah. 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 Look, okay. if it, it's not like I'm trying to be insensitive when it comes to heartbreak because guess what? We've all been there. <laughs> yes, totally. I know about heartbreak. However, there are some situations that you said you would know better. Move on. Yeah. You were not picked. He didn't find you worthy enough to, be, to engage you. Now, don't get me wrong. You might still be heartbroken. I'm not trying to be unrealistic like you just wave off the love. But there's something called control. You control okay. yourself, and most importantly, you get some class and some dignity, and you keep it moving. Otherwise, it's going to get worse, and guess who's going to be the laughing stock? So wait, wait, we're not even going to blame the guy for leading the lady on. It's both of them, sweetheart. I'm blaming the man, but the, too. Yeah, the, the man is with me, but I'm woman. also blaming the lady for sitting there. But whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when you know I will, I will always say, look, I don't support stupidity, but sometimes mm -hmm. the way you fall for someone, even you said yes, you don't understand I what agree. you're doing. I think I agree with one? Why is I know that we've all been, we've never, I wouldn't say we've been in this particular situation, but I'm sure we've all been in situations where we've fallen so hard for someone. No, but that it was just when, when you're a teenager, when you're your no, early no, 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 no. But not when you're, no, yeah, I mean, no, you're, you're, you're no. slapping 30 and 40 and beyond. No, and you're there no, I, you're think, I, think, I think, yes, no. with a lot of experiences, you then tend to be a bit more careful. Do you understand? But age is not anything. If your first true love happened at 29, 30, 31, you can still fall victim. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. It's at experience, you're not like, okay, I'm never going to be in that situation again. And also, it depends on your self-esteem as well. If you have low self-esteem, or your self-esteem is not where you think that this is it, this you is the guy, yeah, I can't do better. So you're going to want to hang on to it no you matter what. You want to hang on to him. Or mm. if you are that kind of a sad, romantic, hopeless romantic, you're thinking, you know what you see in the movies is what happens, whereby he's now going to finally realize that this is the love I should have you know, been with. Then you will keep on hoping yeah, against Even though in the case of Camilla, she had big, exactly. big, big, uh, big behind. White guys like that, right? Oh, no, am I still talking about Camilla or someone? Wow. wow. Okay. Please <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let us know what you think about situations oh, where uh, people do not marry their true loves, either because of family or uh, money or whatever reason. Send your comments to Facebook and Twitter, Cool TV the blog. I remember to always use the hashtag Love to Blog. Final words. Yes. There's somebody for everybody. The one that is for you, trust me, you won't have to share. Being in those shoes, by the way, you just control yourself. You will find somebody. There are billions of people on this earth. Move on. Let the man and this woman enjoy themselves. There's more fish out there in the sea. Thank you. I think I have to say, I saw something earlier this week about the fact that it's usually at night that you find yourself wanting to check on your ex or check on someone. Let me, you know why? Because you're bored. During the day, you're so busy, you don't have time to think about <laughs> that it. That is true, But at though. night, you're that not looking true. at her. See, let me, see the pose. That, no, <laughs> that is true. Because no. I've been he in bed like fine. Mm. You don't need to ask how his mother, father, sister are doing. They are doing well. Mm -hmm. Move on. Resist the urge to contact him again. Let it be a closed book. Close mm -hmm. chapter. And don't blame it on that bottle of wine you opened before you went to bed either. Wow. <laughs> and I have to say, um, it's okay to take a time off to grief. But if you're taking a time off to grief for a, a lost person or someone that was actually yours, it makes more sense. But that you're taking the time off to grieve over someone that wasn't for you from the onset, that was just uh, uh, Shani Yokongu. <laughs> so wrong. But I, I'm with you. And How? <clears throat> In the event, <laughs> in the event that you're with this person, he gets engaged, he gets married. Just hang on, have faith. Look at uh -huh. Prince Charles. He could, you know, 
divorce her or whatever and marry you. Wow, in that's yeah. <laughs> such, such a great ambition. <laughs> no, no, such a great no, ambition. No, 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 Please, have fun this weekend, but keep it strapped because there are some crazy exes oh out there. Peace. Kill! <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs>Oh, did you like what you just saw? I know you did. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. If you want to see more, just subscribe to our channel right now. 